Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use a program called GarageBand. In this video, I'll show you the complete method of using GarageBand. Okay, to start you off, GarageBand is an application which you will receive. It comes with any new Mac that you buy, no matter which type, Mac Mini, Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, iMac, no matter what, it will come with GarageBand. To access GarageBand, if it's not on the dock, you go to Finder, you put GarageBand, and then you click Enter. Here it will start, and you've got several options on how to use it. Well, first of all, you can go to video video tutorials, but it's well, really, you got this video tutorial. Okay, you've got a music project, a podcast, and a Magic GarageBand. In this video, I'm gonna show you just how to use a music project. Click it. Um, we can call this song sample. Okay, the tempo and everything just keep it the same. I mean, yeah, we we'll click create. Just okay. Okay, GarageBand has several methods or options of playing music. One is with a a keyboard on display like this another one is that you use the actual keyboard to play okay and but that's just one way another way of doing it is if you go to track this is like the formal way this is how you actually make music go to track new track I'm gonna teach you how to make a real a complete song Go to Real Instrument Track. Click Create. Okay, now we got this one. It's currently with no effects on it. So we'll go down here to this little eye. Okay. And here we can see the different types of of sounds that they are. Depends what you like. I mean, piano, rock, blues, single. Then you got dark, intense, and brass, shaker, strings, everything. Okay, we're going to start with dark. And we can add an effect like this. If you like that sound, you can add, you can drag it, and you add it here. See how you can't add it in here because this is not an, this is a real instrument track. These are more for sound. See these how it's differentiated with the blue and the green. If you like this, you can drag this one since it's green to the green one here. Since this one's green, there. To change, look, this is how it sounds. Okay, if we want to change the sound of this one here, I'm going to stop this first, of the blue one, we'll go here. We can put it, I don't know, if you like guitars and you like a metal guitar, just suppose. Then we'll try it out. We'll rewind it. So I change the sound and if you change it, you can it changed completely. Okay, another option that you've got is adding sound effects from here. If you go, you click down here, this next to the sound, the little music thing. Here, the little note, here you got this. You can choose between the sound effects uh, and like the jingles, everything. So here, I don't know if you like this. What we'll do, we'll go to track, new track, real instrument track, and we'll drag that there. But we can move it. No, we don't necessarily have to put it in the start. We can put it here. Okay, we'll just close this. Another option that we have now is we can add um, a song to an actual song here. From here, we click this little thing, the media browser, and this will you you have the option of your iTunes library, and I'll just um I'll choose Welcome to the Jungle of Guns and Roses, and well, strange here. Yeah. 
Apparently it's not letting me do it. I'll choose another song. Here we go. Um, once we've added a song to this, you'll see how you can change it. By adding a song, don't just go and take away the the song from somebody else. Like, don't just put your name on it and say it's yours. Like, so now, now let's see how it sounds. Oh, uh, it's called the song is called Pressure by Paramount. If you want to add your own voice to this song, you do. You click on one, or or just make a new track. A new track again, <clears throat> a real instrument track. But now what you can do is you can go to vocals or no effect, but you can change your voice. Let's see helium breath. So now I'm gonna start recording. So this is what it sounds like, and yeah. Okay, so let's see how it sounds. You can't really hear that, so we'll put it on megaphone and see how that sounds. So you can basically customize any song of the iTunes library. So suppose that now we've got our song, we like the song, it's great. Oh, by the way, another thing, you can shorten a song. If this song is just too long, you click it until it's highlighted. And you wait for a little cursor here to appear, this one here. You click it and you can drag. And you'll go cutting the song. Like now it's not shortening it, it's just cutting it. And put it at the same level as this. Perfect. See? Now it's it's now gonna cut midway through the song, so that's what you want. Okay. If we like that song, we say great, we like it, perfect. We'll go to share. And you can send it to iTunes, but if you want to send it, I don't know, to a cell phone or to another, to a friend or something, or just burn it to a CD, I would recommend putting export song to disk. Okay, you, you've got the option of ACC encoded or MP3. I recommend you choose MP3. And high quality depends on your system speed or if you want to, where you want to put it. So, well, yeah, then we'll just put export. And we can save it pretty much anywhere. Let's save it on the desktop. Okay. Click save. Okay. Saving. It's saving. Should have paused the video to do that, but. Okay. Perfect. We'll just minimize this. There. See, we've got the song here. We'll click it. But now, as you can see, you'll open it up with QuickTime Player. And depends for what you want, it's not exactly what you really want. So, what you will do is if you're, you're on a map, of course, you click Control. And then you'll left, well no, just click, I don't know, I'm with a MacBook, so for me it doesn't matter. And you'll go get info. And here, where it says QuickTime Player, you'll change it to iTunes. That. There, it will change the whole thing, so you, now you can basically use it with your iPod and... Um, you, uh, like you want, you can send it to a cell phone and you can put it on YouTube although you have to convert it to a video but and you can just use that song for anything and yeah that's how you use GarageBand
Thanks for watching.